Welcome to 360 Ministries. Today we're going to be um, talking a little bit about, it's something we used to, probably a lot of us have grew up with. I don't know if you remember seeing these little things, but um, called a weeble wobble. It's a weeble wobble, but they don't fall down. And it's probably, you know, a little funny to you, but I just felt like that was what, you know, sitting and talking to the Lord and, and just watching how a person of faith does. Sometimes we get knocked down, but if we walk with God and we, we talk with God, we always come back. But sometimes the enemy likes to get a hold of us and tries to hold us down. If you've ever held one in your hand and you just hold it down, how it just stays there. And when you let it go up, it just pops right back up. So I'm going to be reading out of Romans 3, 23 through 26. For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God and are justified by His grace as a gift through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus, whom God put forward as a substitute by His blood to, re to be received by faith. This was to show God's righteousness because in His divine forbearance He has passed over former sins. It was to show His righteousness at the present time so that He might be just and the justifier of the one who has faith in Jesus. As Christians, we, we're like those weeble wobbles. Like I said, we get knocked down, but we get back up. That's what most people think about Christians, that we're perfect or we, we try, that we're so, we think that we're better than others. But we're not. We're like everybody. We're all human and we all fail. Like it says, for we all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. I've been, you know, looking at things that I have done um, God don't remember our past. The enemy brings up our past. But we can use that past to glorify God. I've made a lot of mistakes and I have messed up, but God has always been there to hold me up, has been there and has never left me. It says in Hebrews 13, um, Five, let your conversation be without covetousness and be content with such things as ye have. For he hath said, I will never leave thee nor forsake thee. So just know that he is there with you. Even during your hard times, during your mistakes, he doesn't remember those. When you come to him, he forgets those mistakes that you've made. The enemy likes to do that. He's the one that tries to push you down and hold you down and keep you that way. But you don't have to live that way. You can live a courageous and bold life. People think, oh, I can't be that way. I never have been the bold type. I've never been the one that wanted, I didn't like confrontation. I didn't like anything that I just wanted to be in my own little world. But I want to step out and do what God has called me to do. And we all have a calling. We all have that special thing that God has for us to do. And He can use you. Turn your life over to Him today and give Him your heart. And I'm not saying it'll be easy. We, we strive to be perfect, but there's only one perfect person, and that was Jesus Christ. And He gave His life for us. And I'm asking you today, if you don't know Him... Call upon Him in your troubles, in your trials, in everything that you have going on right now. He is there with you right now with His arms stretched out wide, as wide as they was on the cross. He loves you. He died for you, for everyone. And we all make mistakes. That's what it says, for we all have sinned. Not just the Christians, not just the sinners, but all have sinned and come short. So it's time that we all turn our hearts to God and give Him the, those lives that He so preciously gave His for. Yes, we make mistakes and yes, we fall down, but we can choose to get back up. Turn your life over to Him today and He will, He will never leave you nor forsake you. I have a heart that wants to serve Him and I want others to want to know that. I want people to see Him in me. I want you to see Him in me. I have made mistakes. I'm not perfect. But I live for my Lord because He died for me. And I love Him and I serve Him daily. Is it easy? No. But I know that what I've been through, He is going to get the glory for. I, I pray that you understand. I pray that you would get in your word. I pray that you would find a church to get into. But most of all, turn your life over to him while there's still time. And I, I just pray for you daily. Know that. And if you haven't given your heart to God, you can be anywhere. In your car, in the church, in your bedroom, in the bathroom, anywhere. And just call out his name, Jesus. Here I am, a sinner. 
I'm giving my heart to you and he will hear you. Turn to him now, I pray. I thank you for hearing this and I hope that it was a blessing to you.